And now a Glenn Beck program special Olympic update. Excellent job, Sarah. This is great. It's Stu. I am live in the other studio across the room with the glass kind of in between us. Stu, can you hear me? Yeah, uh, yes, I can hear you. You can, can, can hear, you me. hear me. I can hear you. It's a soundproof window. It is. I don't know the the uh, the advances in modern technology, the miracle of telephonics it's, here. It is amazing, Glenn, but I am sitting here right now looking at the same television screen that you're looking at. Yes. And I'm breaking news as yes. we speak. Okay. There is news coming from uh, from over there in Copenhagen. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. The first round of voting... Uh, is up for the Olympic Games, and the the first wait, city. Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Enjoy this. Savor this moment. And the first city to be eliminated is Chicago. Yes, our president flew all the way over there. Not in one plane. Fail. Just in one plane. <laughs> No, no, two planes. Two planes. We need more breaking news. There we go. But we need to, uh, two planes. Two planes. His wife, Oprah Winfrey, all the jet fuel needed to lift them. All the massive amounts of corruption that was promised. All the greenhouse gas emissions. All the publicity. All the excitement. For nothing. For, as the kids call it, an epic fail. Uh, hang on just a second. Still, can you still hear me? I can. Can you still see me? I can see you. And yes. hear me. I can hear you and see you through the glass. Now, let me ask you this, Stu. Yes, Glenn. Are you saying that the president failed? <laughs> Glenn, there is no honest observer who could disagree with that statement. Let me ask you this, Stu. In his failure to bring the Olympic Games, didn't Putin go over and get the Olympic Games? Uh, yes, he did, Glenn. Wasn't Tony Blair the first to go over and get the Olympic Games? I believe you're you're correct on that, Glenn. So this would make the is it is it possible that this is the first head of state of any major country that has ever gone over and made the pitch in person and then failed? I don't know if that's true, but I'm choosing to believe it, Glenn. We can always hope. And Glenn, by the way, I don't know if you're noticing this. This is the first. Uh, th Absolute, undisputable proof of Russia's comment being true. I hope he fails because we're going to need the money. Well, he's failed and guaranteed we've saved money by his failure. So it actually, it's proven to be true. You notice uh, there in the uh, in Daily Plaza, they have a uh, sign up on one of the buildings. Imagine. Imagine Sh failure, Glenn. <laughs> no, no, it says. You don't need to imagine it anymore. It says, it's here. It says Chicago 2016. Imagine, and that's exactly what they're going to have to do. <laughs> in 2016, they'll stand around and imagine what it would have been like to have the Olympics in Chicago. Welcome to the 2016 Imaginary Games. Unbelievable. Seriously, that is a. Uh, you know, we sat An here. Epic. An epic <laughs> failure. Why? An epic failure. Why did he do this? This is terrible, uh, PR. Can I tell you something right now? Oh, my God. Chicago received the least votes in the first round. Yeah, it was eliminated. Urgent, yeah, urgent wire here. Tokyo um, is now out, is... by the way, as well. Tokyo wow. is out of contention. Madrid well, what or are they, Rio. Wait, wait, what are they doing? How are they possibly making this? The only one that you could have done on social justice, really... Was um, uh, was Tokyo? I think Rio, though, because there's never been um, a Olympic Games south of Mexico City, I believe. So I mean, oh, the entire is hemisphere the first... is being ignored. Oh, well, that's a pretty big deal. That is a big deal. And they're just good looking down in Rio. You know what I mean? There you go. But Glenn, seriously, so anyway, like, how how <laughs> isn't this president supposed to be the guy who can talk? Ahmadinejad out of a nuclear program. Oh yeah, they love him. If he can't He's, get, he just gave a speech yesterday, and he said, "Look, it's important. I am, I am the guy. I am here to uh, bring the whole world together. I am here to. I I can. I got the whole world in my hand. I got the whole wide world." In my hand, I got the whole wide world. In my hand, I got what? Oh, crap. I have nothing. I've got nothing in my hand. I've got a, I've got a, a, a two jets that need to fly back <sighs> in my hand. I've All right, got so Oprah's now here's lunch the thing. bill in my hand. I said yesterday, so let me tell you something. Somebody right now is about to receive a phone call that will change their life. Somebody, whoever made the decision 
that said, yes, Mr. President, you should fly the first lady over and then you should join them on the day. So you're in Copenhagen. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. When this story breaks, there's no way to escape it because you can't be like meeting with a general or something. You're going to be in Copenhagen when they announce this. That person, whoever made that, is about, if they haven't already, is about to receive this phone call. Hello? <laughs> yeah, um, pack the stuff. Guess who's got a new job at the Center for American <laughs> Progress? Guarantee you someone is going to be transferred to the Center for American Progress, which is weird because it's almost like Siberia. Yeah. It is. You just go into Siberia and you're just there. You still play a role, but you've brought shame to our fearless leader. <laughs> what? <gasps> what? Your was... family, like in the middle of the night, like Van Jones. I don't even know. Is his family, does his family even know where he is now? Did they just come and get him in the middle of the night and leave his family going, where did daddy go? Oh, he went to the Center for American Progress. Shh, quiet. I'm just saying. It's just a question. Just a question. It's time to turn in the BlackBerry. May I ask? No, no, no. The BlackBerry is the one connected to, to the, the Center, Center for American, American Progress. Progress. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, may I ask this question? Is it possible that the president ever finds himself transferred to the Center for American Progress? I don't know. We're not really operating constitutionally now anyway. Could we wake up and ever just see a headline that says, President transferred to the Center for American Progress. New president, John Podesta. No. <laughs> Can George Soros just be implemented as king above all of them? That would make things a lot easier. Let me, you conspiracy theorists. I know. What, what evidence do you have that... George Soros is involved in any of this. So uh, we have to, I guess, figure out which city was more corrupt and uh, had bigger bribes to the IOC than Chicago. That's saying something. Well, when know, we can be out bribed, that's... The problem is that, mm -hmm. that that whole corruption thing from Chicago is so long gone. A lot of these, you know, bids and stuff happened back when, you know, Rod mm -hmm. Blagojevich was still... Was still governor, and you you would never be involved in anything. No, obviously. and and Mayor Daley, like I pointed out last night, only forty one in his administration have uh, forty seven. Glenn, forty seven. Only forty seven have uh, gone to jail for corruption. So not forty eight. No, not fifty. Only forty seven. Fifty would be a problem. Uh, forty seven. Well, it depends on how you define problem. So there it is. Heartbreaking news. Chicago didn't get the Olympics.